Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today we're going to be building Metra number 425 and this is an MP36 PH3 locomotive and this is the Rock Island Heritage Unit paint scheme here and it's pretty unique looking so let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off on the rear end of this one take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and attach that up on the second layer. Under it a sideways dark oak bed scheme. Then on the next block forward on the bottom middle we're going to put three backward facing black stone brick stairs. Then an upside down stair facing outward on either side of it. On the next layer put a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs facing backward on either side of that. Then on top put five black stone brick blocks. Then on the bottom above each rail, we're going to open a birch fence gate. Then above that on each side, open a dark oak fence gate. Then one fence gate on the top middle. And then we're going to put two sideways end rods here. And then two sideways end rods on this side of it. Then come in front of this in the center and do a three block tall T-shape of black stone brick block. Put a torch on either side of the second layer. And on this outer edge, we're going to put three quartz slabs like this and three quartz slabs on this side here. Then in front of this, do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then come in front of this on bottom, put a bend skate on each rail. In front of that, put another right wheel on each rail and in the middle, a black stone brick block. Then a black stone brick top slab and then in front of that in the center, two sideways dark oak bent skates. Then a top slab and a black stone brick block. Then put another wheel here and here. And in between the wheels, put four sideways lightning rods on each side. Then we're going to come through and we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four of these netherite wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing over here, one on each of these two hoppers. Then we're going to come on the second layer on the middle with black stone brick block. Start at the back on top of this and do a line right down the center and come out two blocks past this front wheel here. On the side of it, a full row of fence gates. And then on this side, a full row of fence gates. Then up here, we're going to come on the next block forward in front of this and on the very bottom. And we'll go three wide with black stone brick block down here in front of this. And then we're gonna make that seven blocks long in total. So a three by seven. Then we'll put seven upside down black stone brick stairs on the side of it. And seven upside down stairs on this side. Then on the second layer for the spiel tank, just cover this in a five by seven of black stone brick block just like that then we're going to put a bell on this corner and then on bottom in front of it leave two empty blocks of space and starting on the third block out on this rail we're going to put four sideways observers then we're going to put another four on this side of it and another four in the middle so there's an empty gap of two blocks of space between here. Then we're gonna come over here and we need to put a string on this gap here. And off the front of this, we're gonna put a two by two of sideways anvils right here. Then right here, we're gonna put two nether brick fences, another two up here and come forward by two here. So it looks like that. Now come in front of this for the front truck, skip one block forward and put a fence gate on each rail so there's a one block gap of space there. Then in front of that we're going to put another right wheel on each rail. In the middle a black stone brick block and then a slab on top. Then two fence gates, a top slab and a black stone brick block. Then put another right wheel here and here and a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. 
then in between the wheels here, we're going to put four sideways lightning rods above each rail. And then we're going to come through and we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four of these netherite wheels on the front here. Then we'll crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing over here, a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Then we're going to come up top with black stone brick block in the top middle here on this second layer. And we're going to start back here in the middle and bring it all the way forward across all this. And we're going to come out one block past these fence gates here on top. And then on the side of this very front block on top, we're going to put two backward facing upside down black stone brick stairs here and two here. Then right here, put a full row of dark oak, dark oak fence gates across this, and then two here. Then come to this side behind this bell, and a full row of fence gates across here to the front. Then in front of this, up on this second layer, we're going to put five black stone brick blocks here. Then we're going to come underneath on this corner and put an upside down, backward facing black stone brick stair on this side. And then one upside down stair on this side. Then in front of this, we're going to put a right side up, polish, and a sight stair facing forward on each side. Three upside down stairs in the middle. Then three right side up stairs on the middle in front of this. Then we're going to come up with black stone brick block on this second layer. And we're going to put one in the middle here and three in the middle here. Then an upside down black stone brick stair here and here, and one on each outer edge. Then turn around with a dark oak stair and stack it up to this middle top block for the coupler, and put a sideways fence gate under it. Open a birch fence gate above each rail, and then open a dark oak fence gate above each of those. Then come up here with black stone brick block. Put one here, three in the middle, and one here. Then we'll do a sideways birch fence gate on the middle. Then we're going to put a mangrove button here and here, and then an oak button here and here. Come behind this, put two black stone brick blocks here, two here, then on here, start in the middle, on the front, and go three wide with it, and we're going to bring that all the way down to the back, three blocks wide on the top middle of this third layer here. Just keep it coming here, right to the back. Then on this top outside edge, we're going to do a full line of smooth cord slabs on this upper hitbox going end to end. We'll repeat on this side, a full line of smooth cord slabs on the upper hitbox here going end to end on this side as well. Right down to the back here. Now come on this fuel tank one block back from the front on the top of it, put a skeleton skull here and then a mangrove sign. Repeat on this side, so put a skeleton skull here, and then a mangrove sign, and then one block from the back, a mangrove button here, same thing on this side. Then we're going to detail the truck, so in between here, two deep slate tile blocks in the middle, and a deep slate tile slab on the upper hitbox of each side. Then four dark oak trap doors here, then we need to get a single deep slate tile slab above each of these two hoppers. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull above each of the two wheels here. And then two dark oak fence gates on the middle of this. Then crouch and put a sideways end rod here and here. And then we have to repeat the whole process on the other side. So two deep slate tile blocks in the middle. A slab on either side. Four trap doors here. Two fence gates here. Then we need to get a slab above each of the hoppers. and then put a skeleton skull above each wheel. Then we'll crouch and put a sideways end rod here and here. And we need to repeat the whole process on both sides of this front truck as well, that same way. Now come on top of the very front in the middle 
we're going to put a yellow concrete here, then a TNT block here and here, and then here and here. On the top middle, a red nether brick stair, then oak stairs on all four of these blocks. On the middle here, put three yellow concrete. Then we're going to come up here and put three red nether brick stairs on the center. Then we'll come on the bottom outside edge of each side behind this, and we're going to do a line of five red concrete coming back on either side. Then above that, we'll do a line of five yellow concrete on either side. Then on this front yellow concrete block, we're going to put a board facing red nether brick stair here and here. Then three red concrete across this top middle. And then four red concrete behind it on the top of each side here, like this. Now up here in the middle, a red concrete and a black stained glass on either side, then a black stained glass pane on these outer edges. Behind it on each side, a single black stained glass block. Then behind that, a single red concrete on each side. Then two black stained glass panes behind that. Then we're gonna come down here and put two upside down port stairs and a column on each side. Then above it, we'll put a mangrove door here and a mangrove door here. Then a white stained glass pane on the side here for a mirror and one on this side here. Next, come on bottom behind this door on the outer edge. And we're gonna go two layers tall of red concrete and start bringing that back. And we're gonna bring it until it's over the back of these smooth cord slabs. So we stop right here and do the same thing on this side, two layers of red concrete starting on the front and come all the way down, stopping above the very last smooth cord slab back here. Then back here, two red concrete here, two here, a mangrove door in the middle. Above it on top of the back, a three by three of red concrete right here. Now on the side, starting at the back right here, do 10 red concrete coming forward. Then align with the back of it on this side and do 10 over here. Then above this, 10 yellow concrete. And same thing on this side. Then up here, we move down one and do a full row of yellow concrete across this gap up to the door and a full row of yellow concrete on this side. Then up here, a full row of red concrete across the top right here. And that same thing here, a full row of red concrete across this. Then we're gonna come on these back corners and put four red stained glass panes in this corner and then four in this corner here. Then back here on the middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then next to it, a mangrove sign with 425 on either side of the frog light. Hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then on the left hand side, three birch fence gates here, one on top of the sign. Then here we're going to put four birch fences coming up. Here, three birch fences. Copy on this side, so four fences here and then three on this side here. Then up here, we're two fences here, two on this side and a chain across the gap. Then we're gonna come up to this front door and on either side of this door, we're gonna put a column of four birch fences. So four here and four here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, four fences here, four here. Then we're gonna to come to the back on this middle red block, on the first block of the back, put an item frame, skip forward one and a mangrove sign with 425. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Repeat here, so we'll put an item frame here. Then we need to skip forward by one. Put a mangrove sign with 425. Hit it with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll come up and detail this front end. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna take out our glow item frame again. And we're gonna put one on the middle here with a frog light. And then we're gonna put a glow item frame on all four of these TNT blocks up here. 
then on the outer ones put a frog light, and on the inner ones put a redstone block in each. Then a dark oak sign on this yellow concrete, then come up by the headlight, put a dark oak sign here with 425, and same thing on that side. Hit both of these with white dye and a glowing sack each. Then we're gonna come on the side of the cab, on bottom, on this red concrete. And we'll put two birch buttons here, then two birch signs here. Repeat on this side, two signs here, two birch buttons right here. Now come on top of this single red concrete and put a forward facing oak stair on either side like this. And then behind it, four outward facing oak stairs on either side. Then we'll move down to the rear end and we're gonna put two outward facing oak stairs here, two here. In front of that, three deep slate tile stairs on either side, and then a single red nether brick stair on either side. Then three deep slate tile stairs again, and then two red nether brick stairs on either side, facing outwards here. Then in front of this, a line of eight deep slate tile stairs coming forward. Then eight deep slate tile stairs on this side. Then two red nether brick stairs on either side. Then three black stone brick stairs here and here. And finally two red nether brick stairs on either side in these gaps. Next, come up here between these front oak stairs and put three yellow concrete across the middle, right there. Then three oak slabs on the bottom front of this in the middle. Then yellow carpet here, three here, one here. Then we'll fill the rest of this roof three wide with yellow concrete to the back of these oak stairs. Then behind that section, we'll switch over to red concrete and start filling this in three wide. And we're gonna bring it back to the back of these two red nether brick stairs right here. Then up here, we're gonna take mangrove trap doors aligned with this mat. And we're gonna make a three by three square of trap doors, leaving the middle open. Knock out the middle block and put in a cauldron. Then in front of this, on the center, put a sideways mangrove fence gate then open one in front of it for a horn. Then right here, two oak trap doors in the middle. Then come behind this, drop one block down right here, and we'll go three wide with red concrete, one block down like this. And we're gonna fill this all into the back, three wide with red concrete on this level, so that this whole roof gets filled in here. Right to the back. Then where this stair, We'll put three red concrete here, two rows of three here, and then two rows of three right here. In this square, use red nether brick slabs to make a plus shape, and then one here. Knock out the centers, put in bedrock, and then a dead horn coral fan in each one. Then right here, we're gonna make three connected plus shapes of red nether brick slabs. Actually, this front don't line up, so we're gonna take these three red concrete out and move them down by one block so it's even in here. Then knock out the center of all three of these, put in bedrock, and then dead horn coral fans. Then take red carpet, come around this end in here, then in between all these and around this end. Then get between this fan and all around this one. Now we need to make banners, so come into a loom with a white banner and yellow dye. Put a horizontal on top and on the middle. Then make the bottom half red. Then a new white banner with yellow dye, horizontal on the bottom and on the middle. Then make the top half of this one red. And this is for our pinstriping, so we'll come place them. So we'll come up under the cap here with the banner that has yellow on bottom. And we'll put three across right here, then come up behind the door here and do a full row across this. Then when you get here, you switch to the other banner with yellow on top and come down to the back like that. Repeat on this side, 
So yellow on top across here, then right here, switch to the other banner and come all the way across here up to the door. And then finally, three under the cab right there. Now we're gonna come back into a loom, this time with a red banner and white die. And we're gonna put a vertical on the left and the right, upside down triangle on top, new banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle, top and bottom, new banner. Vertical in the middle, horizontal on top. New banner, vertical on the left, top half white, and a diagonal. New banner, vertical on either side, and then a horizontal on the middle and the top. Then one with just a white horizontal on bottom. Then around the five letter banners here, we're gonna put a red border on each one. Then we'll come place. So we're gonna come under here, And we're gonna put two of this stripe one here, and then behind it, use the banners to spell out the word Metra. Just like that. Then we will of course repeat over here, so come under this corner, use the banners to spell out Metra, and then put two of this stripe one. Then we have one more banner to make, so come into a loom with a white banner and red dye, Put these stripes on it, go to blue dye, and make the top right corner blue. Then we're going to place this on this item frame and turn it so it's this way. Same thing on this side, put it on the item frame and turn it so it's like that. And now we can work on the interior. And now we'll come and do the interior, so come inside here, at the same level of the doors, fill it with polished andesite slabs. And we're going to fill this whole cap floor in up to the front. I will also put three slabs behind the door here, behind this on either side, polish andesite stairs, making a staircase coming down on each side. In the middle, two columns of lodestone up to the top. In front of this in the middle, two blast furnaces and a door here and here. Then up here in the front, we're gonna put three slabs here, then two glow item frames with end crystals, then a lever. Turn around and we'll add a stair on each side for the seats. The cap's done, and now we'll come back in here. Behind this, three anvils on the bottom middle. Then above those, we're gonna put three netherite blocks. And then we're gonna put a dark oak button on either side of all three netherite blocks. Then up here, we're gonna do three brewing stands. And on this very top, we'll put three hoppers up here in the middle. Then behind this, we're going to put two sideways end rods here. Then we're going to do three smooth stone blocks here. Three polished deep slate walls. Then seven anvils coming down the middle. And above that, seven netherite blocks. Then come through and put a dark oak button on the side of all the netherite blocks on both sides of them. Then above this, we'll do another row of seven anvils. Then behind that on bottom, a two by two of sideways end rods right here. Then right here, two rows of three smooth stone, one on the front. Then another smooth stone and a wall, then two walls here and a brewing stand. Behind this, three anvils on bottom. Then above that, three smooth stone. Then up here, a brewing stand and two hoppers. And now our interior is all completed here and we can come back outside here. So there we have it folks. We've completed Chicago's Metra number 425, the Rock Island Painted Heritage Unit. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, Railfans.